Hi, recently I had this data to analyze in Excel. On the first column, I had various dates of trading and in the second column, the profit and loss. What I wanted to know from this data is what days of the week give me the most profit. Now, how do I get that information from this data? The first thing I need to do is to convert these dates into days of the week. How do we do that? Let me select one of the cells, hold control shift and down arrow and that selects all the cells in the column and then we are going to change the formatting here. So let us go here to number in the home tab and go to more number formats and let us choose custom and the type needs to be now just D D D D and we say OK. Now you can see we have our dates converted into the various days of the week. So far, so good. Now I need to insert a pivot table so I can find the days of the week which are the most profitable. Now let me select the data by selecting this hold control shift down. Now we have selected the data. Let us go to insert, go to pivot table and say from table or range and let us say in the new worksheet and we say OK. Now we've got our pivot table inserted onto a new worksheet. In the rows, I want the days of the week. Now you can see what I got is months, but not the days of the week. Now, why am I not getting the various days of the week? It is because of the formatting issue. Just observe when I select one of the cells here, the formatting is here in this way. Now, all I want is for these to appear as simple text based labels so I can analyze my data. Now, how do I do that? Let me select all of these, press Ctrl Shift down arrow, press Ctrl C to copy and I go here to another cell. And when I use the first one, which is simple paste, I still have the same issue. Can you see this is still the same formatting issue. So I need to find another way to paste it. Maybe I can paste it as values but this is what I get and this is definitely not going to help me analyze the data. So what do I do? I need to find a way to strip the formatting of the entries in this column. Let me delete this. The one handy way to do this is to use a notepad. Let me select this control shift down, press control C to copy, open a notepad and then press control V. Now we don't have any formats attached to these entries. Now I can press Ctrl A, press Ctrl C back again and then go back to my Excel sheet and I can select the cell where I want to paste it and press Ctrl V. Now you can see when I select any of these elements, just the label is shown in the formula bar. It is no longer formatted this way. It is formatted as simple text. But then this is quite a roundabout way of doing things. Let us delete this and let me show you a much simpler way to achieve the same result. You can choose any column and you can just write whatever that is here. So let me write Tuesday, hit enter and then let me write Wednesday and just as I start typing, you can see that I have this ghost column which has all the entries written. I just need to hit enter. Now all of the data from here is now pasted onto this which is totally stripped off the formatting. You can see here Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, everything is clearly in the text paste label. So I can delete all of this control shift down and hit delete. Then select this control shift down, press control X and then go back here control V. Now I can do my analysis using pivot table. Let me select the data. Control shift down and then go to insert pivot table from table or range. Go to new worksheet and say OK. Now see the entries here. One is date and the other one is profit. When I go to date and drag it down to rows, I get the various days of the week and then I go to profit and put it in the values. I now know exactly which day of the week gives me the most profit, which happens to be Tuesday. So in this tutorial, we learned two useful tricks. One is how to convert your dates into day using formatting. And second, we learned how to strip the formatting of the entries and have that pasted back as simple text-based labels 
so you can analyze the data using pivot table. If you want to build a strong foundation in Excel, then we have a useful course called Complete Excel Foundation Course. This course is part of a bundle which is for PowerPoint, Word and Excel. It is a three foundation courses combo. So you can either get just the Excel foundation course or you can get the bundle. I will leave a link to both these products in the description box below the video. You can click on the link and check out more details about them. In the meantime, if you liked this simple tutorial, then you will really love this other tutorial that we have created for you called Excel copy paste tricks. There are some very interesting copy paste tricks in Excel that you may not know about which are shown here in this video. I will leave a link to that here right now on your screen. You just can click on the video link here and go directly to that video and watch and learn some very interesting tricks that will definitely help you improve your Excel skills. Go ahead, click on the video and watch it right away. I'll see you there.